Hey everybody, Darren here from Aussie Outback Supplies. Today I'm going to talk to you about our, our SPS, Swag Protection System. This is a bag that uh, is basically designed to protect your swag at storage at home, protect your swag in transit when you're going to wherever you're going, and then it will actually roll out into a ground sheet, which I'll show you all of these particular features. So that's the particular product there. This is the bag now opened up down here. So features wise, You've got the padded Velcro handle that goes around the uh, around the handle, obviously to grip it together. You've got ID pocket on there, so if you've got multiple swags, you can see whose swag's which one. There's a few extra features we've got on here, so where all the points are, you'll see there's a box uh, stitch and we do a bar tack. Most times that'll run on a horizontal piece of webbing as well, just to give you more strength at that particular uh, at that particular point. Over the top of the zip itself, we've got a large Velcro flap covering the actual zip, which I'll get back to in a minute. When the swag's completely set up, well, the other thing you've got is the shoulder strap on there, which I might just don't click. Pop it out of the way. They're all metal adjusted on there and a nice padded shoulder strap as well. So we'll just pop that out of the way for a second. Uh, when the swag is now set up in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the bag itself, you've got this very large storm flap and your actual zip is right down inside here. So that folds up, that folds over. You fold this down all the way over. So if you are transiting and the uh, swag's on the outside and you've got rain, dust, bugs, whatever it might be, you'll put this end into the actual weather itself because you've got that cover over the top. And as you go down the line of the swag, we get to this end. Underneath there is the next part of our zip which opens up for the main, the main carcass. Again, you'll see that weather can flow straight over the top. And at this end, we actually have a bag. In the end, quite a large bag. So wet weather gear, boots, some clothes, just whatever you want. And if you do have some other smaller items, you actually have an additional clear ended pocket that goes on the inside that obviously zips up as well, out of the way, as does that one. And again, as I said, the weather flows straight over. Now, both ends have a grab handle. So you have a section of webbing going across underneath, and then you have an actual folded, a sewn handle on the end as well. So it helps from grabbing it out, also from a strapping it down point of view, you can go through those handles, this end has the bottle opener in it, which you're probably familiar with with a lot of our products. Again, box stitch, box stitch on the bar tack. So pretty much anywhere you see the webbing, you'll see the box stitch on the bar tack. So with no further ado, I'll just zip that back up. So you can see the whole idea, storage at home, protecting it from things like mice and rats and spiders from making nests in the ends of your swags. It's a heavy duty PVC material as well, 600 GSM. So it's a super strong uh, resilient material. So in transit, again, if you're sitting there, you might have you know, motorbikes, the backs of cages, on utes, whatever it might be, sticks when you're driving through the bush, uh, that'll protect your swag. So your last thing you want to do is get to where you're going and have your swag wet or dirty or torn or whatever it might be. So, now, the one thing I do always say to people, put your zips in the center, that way when you go to under your swag, you're not trying to think where your zips or your sliders are going to be. So, here we go in this one. There's our two sliders. They will come through. At this point, it's probably going to be easier just to unfold it. You only really need to undo the one end, but because of the way we're going to use this one, the zip itself, you just might have noticed, went all, all the way around the end. The other end will do exactly the same. So I'll pop the swag out. Do the same down this end. Unzip all the way around, pop the swag. This is probably the coolest feature of the whole lot. So I'll put my back to you for a second. You can now lay lay the actual body of the uh, of the bag down as a ground sheet. So if it might be might be super wet because it's been raining for a few days, might just simply be very dusty or, or very prickly even where you're, where you're putting your swag down. That just gives your swag a bit of extra protection, straight down over the top of it. King single swag or a king single bag. Obviously it's going to be the same width, so it makes it super easy. Now that goes through all the way down to about here. So it's not quite the whole length of your swag. So it is really wet and really dirty. You've got two things you can do now. This, these two end bits will just spin around. Unzip it all the way. They can spin around here to give you that a bit of additional protection. 
So those ends are there to be used. Now the other, which means now your swag's hanging out the other end, so you've got full protection of your base of your swag. The other thing you can do if they're sitting out to the sides, you can jump on there, take your boots off, get into your socks, then slime into your swag. So again, just saves you getting prickles and things. And once you've got your boots off, again, your boots can sit underneath overnight. Keeps things like the dew off of your boots and stuff like that as well. So there you go. That's our SPS swag. King single and double are the two bags in our range that have all the features. We can custom make the queen size as well, but the queen size won't have the end pocket, but it will have all the other features we spoke about. There you go, AOS swag protection system. Doesn't matter what your swag is or what brand it is, it'll fit straight into one of these normally. Happy camping.